the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends in today's lecture we are going to be seeing about digital signature and the technologies used in the digital signature we would have actually been used to digital signature at least some of us but probably we don't know what is in there so let's see what a digital signature is what is a shami secret sharing the elliptical curve cryptography so let's actually take a deep dive let's friends in today's lecture you know which is in blockchain we are going to be seeing about the digital signature and its uses and the remaining all things actually points out to the digital signature so why are we actually talking about the digital signature right now we have also covered the same uh, in my previous blockchain lectures but you know in this in this lecture in this particular lecture we will be knowing a little bit more of little bit more in depth of the digital signature and why it is important and uh, you know how it is actually used and why we say even the digital signature is like uh, a full proof tamper proof you know for 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 authentication and authorization okay so what we'll be seeing is a digital signature the shamir secret sharing the case set of n uses the elliptical curve cryptography now the digital signatures they are actually heavily used in blockchain so even before going there i'm pretty sure like you know uh, many of us would have actually seen digital signatures so if you see initially for any kind of document we used to go to the bank or any other place like loan applications we used to submit all our documents and the manager or the supervisor will actually supervise it and they will actually say come after two weeks or three weeks they will actually verify and you know there will be like some papers stamped papers and we will be signing in in presence of the supervisor uh, okay so there will be at least one person there and you'll be signing in uh, and you know sometimes in some countries you know what they do is they actually sign from half of the photograph to the you know the next half so this is what i have actually seen i mean depending upon your country and what you have seen is something you know it might be more or less the same so we have actually do the signature so after the signature is actually verified uh, with what you actually gave initially either your bank loan is approved uh, or like you now you can actually withdraw cash or you know stuff of that nature but in today's world which is all like everything is electronic you upload your documents electronically they actually receive it and once a verification is done which again takes a little bit time they actually send you a link for e verification or or digital signal digital signature and the digital signature they actually say this is what it is and you know i in you know, a so and so acknowledge i authorize and you know some 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 text will be there and then you guys will actually read over the document you sign it so in today's world it is very similar to that of what we actually did before so how was it actually happening and why is it actually important and why i mean you know why blockchain uses it and how it can be tamper proof so that is what you know we are going to be seeing so you know some transactions as you know like you know it may be authorized by multiple parties like in this case a bank manager maybe some of the banks will have more than a manager not to supervise and these are all like high value transactions and signing contracts okay so there exists an algorithm okay and it generates a multiple keys in order to generate a digital signature so what you see there is just not a normal signature it is just not like a normal coding it has some algorithm behind and some matching criteria okay so mark this also they also have some matching criteria okay and at least k of set of n users have to participate in order to create a valid signature so what is this we'll be seeing seeing more okay so before going forward i'll also ask you i'm not sure whether you guys have actually seen this in some of the websites some banks what they do is when you actually sign in using a username and password what they do is they give a particular box like a maze and they actually ask you to actually fill in that particular maze so it is like the lego toys like you know where you can actually pull in i'm not sure whether you actually seen it so depending upon the speed that you actually pull in you know depending upon you know some percentage of probabilities and error they even authorize so the very first time when you actually do it they actually you know notice your hand movement and how fast you're actually doing it 
and they actually record it. So depending upon how fast you do or how slow you do, they may also have second thoughts. So this is also there. Okay. So I'm telling you how technology is actually improving day by day. So the Shamir secret sharing, this is what which says like, you know, you need K of set of N parties in order to generate a valid signature. So you need to have some persons in order to, you know, have a valid signature. It is based upon the number of points you need to define. All right. Uh, so it is basically an X axis and Y axis. And at a particular point where the coordinates meet, that is where a shared signature can be pieced together from each individual signature. All right, so let's actually see. So this is the case set of n users. So you have this and then you have n users. So at a point where they can actually meet, this is where like, you know, where it actually said like, okay, this is actually valid and we can actually go from there. Okay, so this is also more or less like the elliptic, elliptic curve cryptography. This is also a public key cryptography. It actually uses the points on the elliptic curve. So basically public key is P, and the product key is you no know, p dash and the point is c so it is basically impossible to derive x from p and c okay so something you know think of this nature okay so once a page has been validated it is actually added to the stack of previously validated sheets which is what block sheet is about and each sheet on the stack can be assumed to be trustworthy because of so many of things actually happening here and because the group consensus okay which is which is a part and parcel of the blockchain this becomes immutable okay so it can also it is a tamper proof uh, and you know n no one can actually you know uh, you know break through this so a digital signature is not only a digital signature it has got a shami secret sharing k set of n users and also an elliptical crypt, uh, elliptic curve cryptography okay so all these things actually like you know there are many things actually makes a you know, uh, a signature valid before it has been authorized. So it is not something that you're seeing easy. Okay. So like always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can reach me in my LinkedIn and I can actually answer you to the best of my abilities and you know my blog spot. So till we see next time, I want to thank you for your time and you know, take care. Thank Namaste friends. I trust you have actually enjoyed my lecture. If you have any questions, you know whom to actually contact. Like always, I would like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me your valuable time. And the other is my wife, Jayashri, for encouraging my passion in order to help others. So till we see next time, you take care.